Majority of it is psychology, because um, I did a psychology major. Um, so yeah, we covered loads of different modules. Um, yeah, just a huge, obviously, psychology is like a massive subject. Um, and then the criminology side of it was more looking at in depth how sort of criminals behave with the social like side of things as well. We study various modules throughout the whole three years. In the third year, I specialised in development in adolescence and adulthood, forensic psychology, um, health psychology, and neuroscience. Oh yeah, Bio <laughs> biological and cognitive neuroscience. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I did applied psychology, so it's kind of like normal psychology, but I did extra modules where I went into the college that I used to go to, and I did some work with some of the students there to do interventions for learning materials. So I've done kind of the same thing as psychology, but I've done some more applied research, so I can take that with me with my career. So. Probably biological psychology and health psychology, because um, and obviously like clinical, because they're most related to my interests in clinical psychology, and it's to learn about like the brain and how the brain, like the body, affects the mind. And I like the interaction of that. Um, forensic psychology is probably my favourite. Um, obviously, looking at how offenders behave um, and how that information is sort of perceived in the courts and that, that interaction. Um, I think I've improved a lot on research skills, how to use proper research equipment. Um, we've got an EEG um, equipment, we've got all sorts of research equipment that we can use. Like I used the eye tracker for my dissertation as well, and that's knowledge that I've never had before, and it's just amazing to have learned all these things. It's brilliant. I think, along with the actual like specific knowledge um, of all the subjects and topics we've covered, it's, it's given me more of sort of a, a different way to think about things. So not just the, the course itself, it's more um, sort of applied learning, like I want to learn rather than just a I have to learn sort of things. Um, it's made me a lot more confident in sort of like presenting, communicating to an audience. Um, yeah, it's just generally increased my confidence a lot in knowledge and just general skills really. And I think um, researching skills will be quite useful and like all, because we've got such a big grounding in psychology now we can go forward into all different, all different areas that we want to go into so we've got quite a lot of a base knowledge that you can then build on what you want to specialise in. Dr Rachel Taylor, I don't think I would have got a degree without her. <laughs> The amount of times where I was just like on a verge of a breakdown and she just is so supportive personally and academically. I feel like you can always advise, you can go to them for any sort of advice if it's academically or personally, they're always there, they're always 100% behind you and they're proud of you so it's nice, definitely. The, the library here was was pretty good obviously, like there's so many books that you can sort of read from. Um, but I think, to be honest, it was, it was like this sort of specific input from certain tutors um, that made it such a better, better experience. Um, yeah, like Rachel Taylor, she was yeah, she's a good tutor. It was that sort of, that, that was the most important bit, I think. It's everything really, isn't yeah. it? Like, this, just the whole uni, the space the uni's on, it's just really nice. It's a nice working environment, especially the library. It's kept quiet and it's a really, really big library. So you have loads of space just to spread out and just do your own thing, and that's really good. And I think where we have, we have quite small classes, so you get you really genuinely get to know the teachers, and the teachers recognise you, and you're on first name terms, and so people can help you a lot better. You can drop into their office and get help, which you're, you're not just a number; you're genuinely a name here. I'm starting my MSc in clinical psychology in September in Glamorgan, so staying on, doing more research. Well, I'm planning, first of all, um, I've got um, an interview tomorrow to work in a prison for like a substance misuse section, um, but I'm going to take a year out, go to Alaska, so I want to just, I want to experience um, the sort of wider world a bit more. Um, but yeah, like I'll take everything that I've learned from this and the sort of psychology side of things over and just keep learning and then hopefully come back one day and be like a counsellor, like maybe juvenile offenders or something.
Um, I'm planning to get experience at the moment, so I'm looking for voluntary work and I'm in a part-time job, so kind of just get an experience and then maybe go on to do a Masters in Forensic Psychology next year. Um, I've actually just started a job as a support worker in a school for people with severe autism, so that's quite interesting and eventually I want to be a clinical psychologist, so I'll be doing a doctorate in a few years' time. <laughs>